In Excel, we want to enter a record into a form and have it appear in our database. Now, technically, in Excel, this is not a database. But for us, it's a table where we can store data. Step one in creating a database in Excel is to create the column header names, also called field names. And very importantly, once we create them, you want to highlight. And we're going to add bold up here or use Control B. You always add some formatting to the column header or field names so that Excel knows that these are different than the records that we're going to enter below. Now we want to enter our first record. So we type the ID. And I'm going to use Control Enter because I want to enter that number and keep the cell selected because we want to add the correct ID formatting to this first record here. So as we add new records, the formatting will automatically be copied down. In the Home Ribbon tab, Number Group, we click the Dialog Launcher. And in the Format Cells dialog box, Number tab, we want Special. Now we have 10 digits for the ID in our company. And if we select Social Security, it almost looks correct. What we've done by coming to Special and selecting this is actually behind the scenes it wrote some code. We can change the code by going down to Custom. And we can see that zeros and dashes are all it takes to create the correct custom number formatting. We have four digits before the first dash, so we type four zeros and then dash, zero, zero, dash, and the remaining four zeros. Click OK. Now that's a number formatting. You can see up in the formula bar that the number is actually stored without the dashes. I'm going to use the Tab key and type the first name, Tab. Type the last name, Tab. The higher date was 8 slash 9 slash 2019. Now when we enter dates like this and hit Tab, a certain number formatting is added. If you want to see the full years, you can come back up to Dialog Launcher for Number. And in the date, we can select the date we want. This looks like what we want. Now we click OK. Tab, the starting salary, 69430 Control Enter. And now instead of using the Dialog Launcher, we can use the drop down, which has the most common number formatting. So we'll select Currency, Tab. The phone number, and when I Control Enter, now I want to come to the Dialog Launcher. And I'm going to try to find one under Special. And sure enough, there's a phone number. Click OK. Tab to enter the email. Now when I enter this email, it will automatically add a link. If you don't like that, you can right click and come down to Remove Hyperlink. I'm going to keep it for this data set. Now all we've done is enter one record. But the significance is we added all the correct number formattings. So as we add new records, that number formatting will be carried down. Now the way we do that is by converting this proper data set, field names in the first row, records in subsequent rows, we convert it to an official Excel table. We can do that by selecting a single cell. It doesn't matter which cell. Insert, and there it is, Table. You can also use the keyboard Control T. Now my table has headers. That's checked, which we need. The reason that the dialog box correctly checked it is because we added bold formatting to the field names at the top. Click OK. Now it adds some formatting. You can change that up here. In Table Designs, that's a context sensitive ribbon. If I select outside the table, it disappears. Click inside the table, and there it is. Over in Properties, we definitely want to name this table object. So I'm going to come up and call this Employee Table and Enter. Once you have your Excel table to add new records, you can simply click directly below the last record, type your data, and use the Tab key. The records will automatically be added to the bottom of the table. But this video is about adding an Excel form, and so we want to see how to do that. Now we'd like to add a data entry form so we can enter data conveniently into a form, and the records will appear in the table. The problem is this is an older feature that doesn't exist anywhere in the Excel ribbon or in the Quick Access Toolbar at the top. 
Now we want to move the Quick Access Toolbar down below the ribbon. So I come to the end, click the drop down, and select Show Below the Ribbon. Now I want to customize this and add the Form button. So I click the drop down, come down to More Commands. Or in this case, you can right click, Customize Quick Access Toolbar. In both cases, it opens up our Excel options and has the correct Quick Access Toolbar selected on the left. Now, by default, it shows a list of popular commands. And that's not what we want. So in Choose Command From, we select the drop down. And we want all commands. We could select commands not in ribbon, but I like all commands because then you have the power to look through this list, select an item, add it to your Quick Access Toolbar. Now the one we want is, and I'm going to click somewhere in the list and type the letter F. That jumps to the Fs. And we're going to look for Form. And sure enough, there it is. This is a beautiful feature. And I don't know why they don't have it for us in the Ribbon tab. But nevertheless, we click Add. By the way, you can go through this list and select all your favorite items, add them over here. And then they're easy to access in the toolbar. Now we click OK. And there's our Form button. Anytime we want to enter records, we simply click the Form. Now we can click New. So we'll enter the ID and use the Tab key. The first name is GG, Tab. Last name is Fam, Tab. The higher date, and here's a cool thing in this dialog box. If you know the keyboard shortcut for today's date, it's Control Semicolon. It works right in this dialog box, Tab. 71,000, tab. We enter our telephone number, tab. Notice we're entering it without any of the formatting that will show up later. And then the email. Now you can click New Record and instantly look at that. It's been added to our Excel table with all of the correct formatting. We can also, when we get to the end of a record, hit Tab. And because New is selected, I can hit Enter. And when I'm done, I click Close. And just like that, the last record has been entered. All right, so when you create a table like this, loosely called a database, field names at the top, add some formatting, add the first record with the correct number formatting, then Control-T to convert it to an Excel table, and then add your Form button to your Quick Access Toolbar. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to learn more cool tricks about Excel, here's some cool videos.